Hi, my name is Brian McIntyre and I work with SAAI. So today I'm going to talk to you all about heat pumps and answer the most frequently asked questions that we get on this topic. So today the things we're going to cover are what is a heat pump, how does it work, and how does it differ to heating systems that we're more familiar with. The different types of heat pumps you can get, and how do you know if a heat pump is suitable for your home. The different grant options that are available to you, possible costs, kind of savings you might make, and finally I'll go through some of the more commonly asked questions that people have on heat pumps. Well, why would we install a heat pump? Well, first off, the efficiency. Heat pumps are highly efficient central heating systems and are suitable for new and existing homes. And they're much more comfortable. Heat pumps are designed to run constantly, especially when the weather is colder, because that's how they operate most efficiently. So by maintaining that constant temperature inside the house, it has a big impact on the comfort in the home. And also because they're so efficient, they can reduce your overall energy consumption. And that means reducing your carbon footprint. In fact, you can reduce your CO2 emissions by up to 70% compared to an oil boiler. There are three main types of heat pump. You've got an air source heat pump, and this takes energy from the air to be used to heat your house. So it could be an air to water system, which means you heat the water for running through radiators or underfloor heating, or even air to air system where you heat air that's used to heat your house. A ground source system takes heat from the ground, and again, that's used to heat the water in your house. Our water source system takes heat from a body water to each home. The air source system is the most common one, the most popular one used in Ireland. Ground source heat pumps are less common, but they can be either deep systems or shallow systems. Deep means that you drill a borehole down far enough that you capture enough heat with the pipe work down the borehole. Shallow is where you have a network of pipes buried about a metre deep around an area such as a garden and where the temperature of the ground is stable. Now that requires more space, so it's typically more suited to a rural dwelling where you might have more space in a garden section. And water source heat pumps are not very common at all in Ireland. Now how do they work? Well this is a question a lot of people ask. How do you get heat from the outside, especially when it's cold? So I like to illustrate this with a fridge for two reasons. One, to show that you can get heat from a cold environment. And two, to show that it's not a particularly new technology. We've had fridges in our houses for decades. So if you've ever had your hand by the back of a fridge, you'll felt the heat. And that's the heat that's been taken out of the fridge in order to keep the fridge cool. And heat pump works in the same principle, but in reverse. It takes energy, typically from the air, from the ground, and converts that to heat to bring into the home. So without getting too technical, the liquid in the pipes in the heat pump is turned into a gas by the, the heat from the air or the ground. That heat is then compressed to make it very hot, and that's used to heat the water that runs through your radiators or your underfloor heating. In terms of the energy that you use and what you get from your heat pump with the typical efficiency of about 300%, is that for every one unit of energy used to run the heat pump, you're taking two units of energy from the air or from the ground outside, which results in three units of energy in the form of heat for your radiators or for your underfloor heating and for heating your home. So you're getting three units of energy out for the one unit that you put in. So how do you know if your home is ready for a heat pump? Well, heat pump works best in a home that is well insulated because the level of heat loss is relatively low. So the heat, works, heat pump works more efficiently. So homes built in the early 2000s, for example, would be built to building regulations that might mean your home is insulated well enough already that a heat pump can go straight into your house. Maybe your home is older, but it's had its insulation upgraded over time, and now you can put in a heat pump. But ultimately what you want to do is you want to reduce the level of heat loss in your home because that makes the heat pump run more efficiently. So by reducing the heat loss, we're talking about insulating walls or your roof, maybe you need to upgrade older windows, or you can reduce your heat loss by improving air tightness, and that means reducing drafts and heat leaking out of your house. So in terms of your grant options, we've got two main options. You've got your individual grant route or the one-stop shop route. So the individual grant route is more suited to someone who just wants a heat pump upgrade and nothing else. And they're happy enough to manage the project from the selection of the contractor to do the work, applying for the grant, and then getting the postmarks BER. The one-stop shop route is suited to someone who's looking to get multiple upgrades. So for example, they want to insulate their walls, insulate the roof, maybe get new windows and get a heat pump. So a full package of works. The one-stop shop then looks after your technical assessment, your grant application and getting the works done. So they look after everything from start to finish. So this is the process you go through if you're applying for a grant yourself. So the individual grant route. First thing you need to do is to get a technical assessment to confirm that the house is heat pump ready. To do this, you select a registered technical advisor from the SAI website. The technical advisor assesses your house 
and confirms if your home is suitable for a heat pump or if you require other installation upgrades to make it suitable for a heat pump. Then you upload the technical assessment with your grant application. You select an SAI registered contractor and then you submit your application. So once you get approval, you have eight months to install your heat pump and submit your grant request. If you're going down the one-stop shop route, that will all be looked after you by the one-stop shop. This is the slide that everyone is interested in, the grant amounts. You can get 6,500 euros for an air-to-water system, a grant-to-water system, or a water-to-water system to be installed in a house. It's 4,000 euros for any of these systems to be installed for an apartment. It's 3,500 for an air-to-air -air system, 200 euros towards your technical assessment, and 50 euros towards your Postworks BER. If you're looking to upgrade your home with multiple measures, including insulation and a heat pump, to achieve a B2 rating, or even better, then the one-stop shop option might be your best route. There are a wider range of grants available through the one-stop shop scheme, and you'll also receive a bonus grant of 2,000 euros for installing a heat pump as part of the works to reach a B2 rating. The one-stop shop manages everything for you, including the application from start to finish. Your starting point is to contact a registered one-stop shop and you'll find the growing list on the SAI website. So when it comes to actually getting your heat pump, you need to discuss your options with your selected installer. For example, whether it's going to be an air source heat pump or ground source heat pump. Then they need to assess your home for the size and type of heat pump that you require. They also look at your radiators and confirm whether you need to keep your existing radiators or if you might need new radiators. You should also discuss where the outdoor unit is going to be located and where the hot water cylinder on the inside is going to be located, as they'll both be connected. Once that's been installed, you make sure the installer explains everything to you, so you know how to use the controls for your system, how to manage the temperature of each area in your home. You need to check the warranty and the after-sale service that they provide, including things like annual servicing, for example. And make sure that they provide all the documentation that's needed for your Postworks BER assessment. Now that might mean talking to your BR assessor beforehand so they give you all the information that you need to tell the installer. So now let's look at the potential savings you might make from installing a heat pump. We've taken a typical semi-detached house, a 70% efficient boiler that might be 15 years old. That's using 1500 litres of oil per year at a cost of about 2200 euros, including servicing. Now if you replace that oil boiler with a 90% efficient boiler, at a cost of about two and a half thousand euros with no grant, you may save about 200 euros per year. If you were to upgrade to a 350% efficient air source heat pump at a cost of between eight and 15,000 euros, you get a grant of six and a half thousand euros towards that cost, and you can save up to 700 euros per year. If you were to upgrade to a 400% efficient ground source heat pump at a cost of between 14 and 17,000 euros, you get a grant of six and a half thousand euros towards that, and you can save up to 830 euros per year. Now these are just indicative figures, but they do give you an idea of the cost and savings from installing a heat pump. Well, I hope you found that presentation useful. We'll now look at the most commonly asked questions that we get about heat pumps. Well, heat pumps are very efficient heating systems. If you get an efficient gas or oil boiler now, they're about 95% efficient. But a heat pump can typically have an efficiency more than 300%. So a highly efficient heating system means you use less energy to heat your home, and so you can see a reduction in your bills as well. A heat pump is also a renewable heating system, and because it's so highly efficient, you're reducing your carbon footprint. In fact, you can reduce your carbon emissions by up to 70% compared to an oil boiler. And finally, but also importantly, because heat pumps run constantly and they run more efficiently when they run constantly, you're making your home a more comfortable place to be in. Well, because they're so efficient, heat pumps use a lot less energy to heat your home. However, your electricity bill will jump because if you previously had a gas or an oil-based central heating system, then electricity would have only been maybe 15 or 20% of the energy use in your home. However, if you switch to a heat pump, electricity counts for about 85 to 90 percent of the energy in your home, and that means your bill is going to go up. However, you no longer have a gas or an oil bill. 
So the increase in the electricity bill should be less than the oil bill or the gas bill that you no longer have. In terms of servicing then, it's good practice, the same way you would have done with the gas or an oil boiler, to get a heat pump serviced every year. And in terms of the cost of a service, where a gas or an oil boiler might have cost 60 to 80 euros to get serviced, a heat pump will cost maybe 110, 120 euros to get serviced. It's also good to talk to your heat pump installer about an annual servicing package as well, or you can shop around. This is a pretty common question we get about heat pumps and underfloor heating, and the answer is no. You don't need to have underfloor heating to run your heat pump efficiently. The vast majority of heat pumps that are put into existing homes in Ireland are put into homes where you're using radiators, and they operate very efficiently. Now, you might get more efficient heat pumps with underfloor heating, but no, you don't need to dig up your floor to put in underfloor heating to run your heat pump. No, you don't need to install solar PV with the heat pump. Solar PV is great. You can put it into your house and get free electricity and reduce the amount of electricity you take from the grid. Um, but you don't need solar PV to run a heat pump because when you get your most electricity from your solar PV is the warmer, sunnier months when your heating demand is lower. So like I said, while solar PV is great, you get free electricity. Heat pumps use electricity and solar PV will offset some of that electricity that the heat pump uses. You don't need to have solar PV with your heat pump. It's certainly possible that all you need to do is take out your existing boiler and put in a heat pump, but that's something the installer will have to assess when it comes out to your house. There may be certain instances where you need to replace some or all of your radiators, or even in older houses again, you might need to replace some of the pipe work. But again, that's something that you can only determine the assessment when the installer comes out to look at your house. And if the radiators and pipe work are in good condition, then yeah, you can just install a heat pump. That's a very common question we get as well, and it comes from how do we get heat from the air outside. The heat pumps are really suitable for Ireland's fairly mild winters, and they can certainly handle cold snaps. For example, they're very popular in Sweden. And most heat pumps in the market now can handle temperatures down to minus 15 degrees, some of them even down to minus 25 degrees. And we've seen some data from the beast to the east in 2018, uh, and the heat pumps ran very efficiently during the really cold spells there. And some of the coldest days, they're still at 200% efficiency. So yep, heat pumps can certainly handle cold weather, and cold weather in Ireland, no bother. Unfortunately, no, the heat pump won't work if there's a power cut. But the same is true of a gas or an oil boiler, because they need electricity to ignite the flame within the boiler. So while your heat pump won't work uh, in a power cut, the same is true of a gas or an oil boiler, so you'd be no worse off.